This week, while the mainstream media was obsessing about President Trump not wearing a face mask, here are the things that happened that really matter. 66% of new COVID-19 patients hospitalized in New York were people who were sheltering at home, according to data from 113 hospitals. In response to this data, Governor Cuomo says he's surprised that 66% of new COVID hospital cases are people who stayed home. Cuomo is surprised because he ignores science. Science shows the highest risk of transmission happens intrafamilial. Transmission happens rarely outside or via casual contact. Governor Cuomo forced people to shelter in their homes together. What did he expect to happen? But did the mainstream media report this story, report the data that shows that sheltering in place does not stop the transmission of COVID-19? Nope, the mainstream media didn't say a word. A new study shows there was no detectable surge in COVID-19 from the Wisconsin elections. Stanford University and the University of Hong Kong researchers found, and I quote, up to 300,000 people voted in person and waiting times in Milwaukee averaged one and a half to two hours. Poll workers had surgical masks and latex gloves. Hand sanitizer was made available to voters. Isopropyl alcohol wipes were used to clean voting equipment and painting tape and signs were used to facilitate social distancing. Taken together, there is no evidence to date that there was a surge of infections due to the April 7th, 2020 election in Wisconsin, which has a relatively low level of SARS-CoV-2 transmission in the U.S. But did the mainstream media report on this? No, no. In fact, the mainstream media pretended there was a deadly surge of COVID cases thanks to Wisconsinites voting. New data shows that the paranoia and anxiety from COVID-19 and the lockdowns will destroy seven times more years of life than can be saved by the lockdowns. Dr. Andrew Glenn and data analyst Jim Agresti ran a study that showed the maximum years of life saved by the lockdowns is 7.4 million years, while the minimum number of lives lost by the lockdowns is 55.7 million years, meaning the lockdowns will destroy at least seven times more years of life than can be saved. Meanwhile, Nearly three dozen people are dead in Ontario, Canada after their heart surgeries were delayed thanks to the government banning so-called non-essential surgeries during this lockdown. But did the mainstream media report on either story? No, they didn't. Neil Ferguson of Imperial College London's COVID-19 model resigns after violating social distancing himself to commit adultery to meet his married lover. That's right, the man who's almost single-handedly responsible for getting Boris Johnson to lock down the UK, who warned that 2 million Americans and 500,000 Brits would die unless governments locked everyone down, he thought he was exempt from the lockdowns imposed on everybody else. In other words, Ferguson is a fraud start to finish. But did the mainstream media report on this? Barely. They barely mentioned it. A new study out of Japan finds that closed environments facilitate secondary transmission of COVID-19 at an astronomically higher rate than indoor environments. The researchers examined clusters of infections and used contact tracing data to calculate the number of secondary cases generated by each primary case. Here are the results, and I quote, the odds that a primary case transmitted COVID-19 in a closed environment was 18.7 times greater compared to an open air environment, end quote. But did the mainstream media report this? No, no. The mainstream media joined with Democrats scolding people who dared to go to the beach in 80 degree weather. The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will.